Hello again YouTube. Welcome to my channel, the SJC Museum. Today we're going to be looking at one of my one of my more favorite topics, which are old bottles. Now mind you, I'm more of a soda bottle guy, but anything glass is enjoyable and I add it to the collection here. Now this particular one hasn't been cleaned yet. This is a dug up bottle. Um, Got to get myself a little bottle brush to get in there and clean this one up. Then it'll be good as new, but a lot of these clear embossed bottles do show better dirty. And you can actually see some of their writing. This particular one, and I'm not sure whether you'll be able to read all that or not, it says Dr. Bell's Medical Wonder Kingston, Ontario. Now, this is a reasonably old bottle, 1920s, maybe a little older. Um, a lot of people might think this is a bit of a cure-all for people in that. This particular size bottle is what they would call a uh, sample size, and they had a larger size as well. Bit of applied lip on the top. You've got the uh, Dominion Glass D-Dime in there on the bottom. Good little solid glass bottle. Nice piece. But uh, this particular medication was not used for people. This is actually medication for horses. Restore their vitality and put a little pep in their step, so to speak. Uh, very, very popular in Canada. So popular that it was actually used quite a bit in the United States. And from what I'm told from my research, right down into South America for horses and that. Um, funny, interesting ingredients in this particular one. A lot of plant-based extracts, if you were. Uh, monk's hood, also known as wolf or leopard's bane. Uh, digitalis, or more commonly known as foxglove. Uh, belladonna, which is known around here locally as deadly nightshade. And uh, strychnine. So lots of good stuff. Uh, <laughs> either uh, cure you or kill you, I guess. Um, very, very popular, but phased out over time because, well, from what I hear, and you know, this is only what you can read on the internet, so take it at that. A lot of these cure-alls and that were phased out because, well, if you could buy a case of this stuff and it would fix your horse up, what do you need to call the vet for? And so get rid of this stuff and let the vets make a bit of money. Um, this originally would have come with a glass eyedropper to apply it. And uh, you could pick this up actually in drugstores and different things like that. Uh, the company itself, based out of Kingston, Ontario, uh, you see their ads a lot of harness racing papers and they also sponsored a lot of uh, races and that in the Kingston area. So probably a lot of people that are watching in the horse business and that are probably familiar or have heard of this before. But there she be. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.